Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to take your blend shape that you create and mirror it over to the other side. So you duplicate your base mesh over and you sculpt your geometry, right? And now you would think you can just take this, hit control D, duplicate and move it over, and take scale X to the negative one. Alright, great, now he has a right blink. That's going to work awesome, right? It's not going to work. Let me explain why. Blunt shapes are based on the vertex, and each vertex has a number. So if I click this for to see right here, open up my script editor, you notice that's going to be 1734. Alright, now if I go to the shape I just duplicated, click the same vertex, open up script editor, it's 3661. That's not going to work for us, so let me just delete this guy, and let me show you how to properly duplicate it. So first thing you're going to need is your blend shape that you created, and then you're going to need a second copy of your base mesh, which I already duplicated over. Alright, so you take this second copy, and your outline, I'm just going to hit Control D, duplicate it again, I'm just going to drag that up, name the first copy, security underscore scale 01, the second one's going to be security underscore wrap 01, and I'm calling it wrap because we're going to use a wrap deformer on it. So you click your first one in the outliner, and it's important that you keep these two exactly over each other, don't move them at all. So you take the first one, the scale, and you're going to scale it in a negative one, just like we did before. <coughs> and now what you want to do is you want to click your blend shape you're trying to mirror, and then you want to click your scale blend shape by control clicking it in the outliner, and you go to create deformers on the animation menu set, and create a blend shape. You don't have to give it a name or anything because they're not really going to use it. <coughs> now if I would click my blend shape and apply it, we have a right blank. But we still have the issues with the vertex not um, being the same numbers. So what we have to do is we have to create a wrap deformer. By doing this we can click the wrap, go up to click the scale, then create a wrap deformer. Go to option box, I'm going to reset the settings, make sure you hit exclusive bind, hit create, and now we go back to the scale, and notice, I want to create it, and we click our blend shape, and scrub through, let me turn my wireframe on to show you so you can see the pink is the wrap deformer, and it's following, it's awesome. So now what we have to do is you have to make sure you set this to 1, so the wrap underneath follows, and then hit Control D to duplicate the wrap again. And then we're going to call this the right blink. So I'm just going to take my original name, copy that, change the L to an R, right? And then I want to take my scale base 01, my wrap 01, my scale 01, and hit D to delete it. And now, if we notice and click the verts again. We have 1734, which was the original vert. So this will work in our blend shape. So then now you just do what you did in class. You click your two blend shapes, you click your original mesh, you go to create the former, click blend shape options. You want to make sure front of chain is selected. You can call it a name. I'm just going to leave it default. And you click your blend shape, and your blend shape will work right and your left. If you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up.